Hello everyone! Today we have a quick Blender tutorial how to make uh, walls. So if you don't want to make walls in Foundry in 3D Canvas, you can make them in Blender pretty easily and export them as a 3D model. We're gonna see how. It's uh, extremely quick. So, first we add a plane, Shift plus A, Mesh, Plane. Then we tab to go into Edit Mode and we want to make this plane a single vertex. So we just go here, we go merge vertex, collapse, and we have one vertex, vertex in the middle. We go on the top view. Now here you can enable the grid snapping and make sure this is enabled. And now with your vertex selected, so if it's not selected, select it. You can control right click to draw walls. So to draw a line basically. So we do control right click, try to stay uh, as aligned with the grid as possible. Uh, it's not gonna be perfectly aligned, but so let's say, uh, you know, we are drawing some kind of room here. I'm just making an example. Doesn't really matter what we draw. But yes, so once we're done, We'll just join back. So now you see that some of these points are not really aligned. So we press A to select all. We go to mesh and we have a um, snap and we do selection to grid and it will align to the grid our points. Now we have two points here because we, um, we started and finished here. So it should be, it would be like a best practice to just do, um, just to merge the vertices. It, it might have done it by, by itself when we align to grid, but just in case, make sure they're not uh, doubled. So now we can see our kind of room layout here and we want to select all and we want to go to the side view here and we press E to extrude and then Z to lock to the Z axis. You make your walls as tall as you want and you can see that we have our wall layout. We tab again to go back to object mode and we go to the modifier in here, add modifier and we want to add a solidify this will make the walls thick. So we can select the thickness that we want. I suggest you have even thickness enabled. And sometimes it will like not look right. You can enable complex here and it should fix that for you. And once you're satisfied with your, uh, with your walls, you go here and we apply the modifier then we want to make sure the UV unwrapping is correct for the textures. So we go back to edit mode, select all, UV, smart UV project, project, and we just do OK. And we're done. We have a room and now we can just uh, go back to object mode, file, export, GLTF, and that is uh, as usual. And we save our file and slap it into 3D Canvas. I hope this quick tutorial was useful and I'll see you next time.